Hey everybody, welcome back. I was not planning on doing another video on ivermectin for like a week or two. This is my amazing salad. And then I've got, what's that? Omelette, egg, and what is this? Fatty. Fatty beef, okay. Fatty. Got my zinc and C and fish oil, which is vitamin D. And the reason being, you'll never believe it, but I went to see a supplier of mine today and I go in there and for the first time he's wearing a mask. Okay, usually he doesn't wear a mask, nor does his wife. And the daughter, she's always sprawled out in the chair, playing a computer, uh, uh, playing on the telephone. And uh, I walk in, he's wearing a mask and, he start, and he's coughing, coughing behind the mask and he can't stop coughing. I look at the daughter, her eyes are a bit bloodshot and she's also, she doesn't look very well. And I turn look at the, the wife and she doesn't look normal, but they're working. I got out of there pretty quick um, and jumped in a taxi. And guess what happened in the taxi? Oh my goodness. And I'm on a, when, when I left the place, it's about five, 10 minutes then on an expressway. So I couldn't exactly jump out, but he was coughing. And it didn't sound like last week when I was in a taxi and the guy was coughing. That sounded like he had maybe like a dry throat. He just needed some water. This sounded like he had a cough. So we came off the expressway, went another kilometer or two, and there was like a shopping mall. And I said, oh, take me to the shopping mall. And I got out there. So hence, I'm doing my uh, horse dewormer. Just be sure I don't have any parasites. Okay. Meal was delicious. So I've got a few things. Like I said, I didn't really want to make a video. I wasn't planning on uh, having my horse medication, but just the incident today has again kind of spooked me out. Uh, there were quite a lot of comments from my video last week that I'm not being paranoid and I should take it. So. I kind of feel like, yeah, I should take it. We've got the um, uh, Christmas New Year period coming up. Uh, I don't want to be sick for that, and I don't want to give it to my family. So um, I'm going to stay on top of my health, and I'm going to keep uh, doing what I can to stay to stay uh, um, healthy. But um, I'm in Thailand. And Thailand had reopened in the beginning of November and they had like a, a one night quarantine for people that are vaccinated and you had to have a PCR test before your flight one day before. And then when you land here, you, you're taken to your quarantine hotel and there's a local hospital that would take care of the um, uh, 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 people staying there and they would do a test and the following day you get the result and if it's negative you're free to go. If it's not it's a different story. But anyway they repealed that um, today. So it's back to seven days quarantine irrespective of how many vaccines you've had. Today is the 22nd of December 2022. For those of you watching in the in the future and you want to know when it was that the world went insane it was before today okay but it's progressive which means it's progressively getting more insane look at israel so today uh the prime minister naftali bennett welcomed the decision the reversal of last week's decision to give a fourth shot a second booster a fourth shot to over 60s and anyone with immune um, immune disorders, which my eldest son would fall in, under that category. And uh, yeah, like I say, a week ago, the panel voted against it and miraculously, uh, the carrot and stick approach, somehow they decided that the new, oh my goodness variant, Omicron, um, is spreading so the new not deadly deadly uh, variant is is spreading so fast that they've reversed on last week's decision 
Uh, and another friend messaged me from Australia, said that they're discussing fines, so up to like 120,000 Australian dollars for unvaccinated people. In New York, there is a bill where anyone that poses a, a threat, a health and safety threat, so um, an unvaccinated person would be posing a threat to the vaccinated. Still can't get my head around that. It's because I'm using traditional um, dictionary definition of vaccines and don't delete me YouTube immunity. And a very sad story, a friend of mine, one of his best pals, uh, close friend, the father was in intensive care in the United Kingdom in England, and they begged for ivermectin, and it was denied. And he passed away two days ago, and the hospital said to him, we did everything we could. It's funny because when I heard the story, I got very emotional in a very angry way. I was like, if that was my father, I'd, I'd be there with a machete and I'd barricade the door and I'd be stuffing him with, with a, horse a horse medication. But there you go, they did everything they could. Right? CDC is looking into uh, Johnson & Johnson. I mean, it wasn't, like, there's a big difference. Moderna and Pfizer, but they're looking into Johnson & Johnson firstly, and it's because of um, high severe adverse events, including death rates in young women. Or about the Moderna and the Pfizer for young men, myocarditis, pericarditis, blood thinning, blood clotting, and all the rest of it. You know, I keep hearing on the news, temporary inflammation of the heart. Yeah, okay, uh, take some medication to stop it inflaming some more, but the damage is done. It's not reversible. I'm not a doctor, consult your local health authority, go to the WHO and CDC and FDA for more information. However, I, 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 I think that there is a case to be made that these heart conditions and other blood clot conditions pose a risk to the longevity of your life as to how long you can possibly live for. They likely shorten your lifespan by an amount. And I've got a friend who says, yeah, it's crazy, but who knows? So have you got common sense? Have you got a brain that you can use? I told him the, the two shots will not be enough. A year ago, I told him there'll be a booster and then there'll be new variants and it won't stop. But he said, no, no, no. Okay, then there was the boosters. Yeah, you're right, but that's it. They need to do it because they've understood new things. Okay, okay, it doesn't matter they've understood new things. It doesn't matter new variant. It doesn't matter none of that. The Delta, India, South Africa, whatever. Okay, it doesn't come into it. I said there would be additional vaccines. And I also said, like many people, that there would be passports and there would be segregation of the population. And he was, no, no, no. And then it became, and instead of admitting just, you know, I am right, okay, he's excusing why I am right. Oh, well, this and this and this. Like, I, 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 was I right? Did I say that that would happen? Doesn't matter what the storyline is. Now with this new variant, they're all behaving like they're reacting to it. The G7 health ministers, Boris the Dick in England and... Um, uh, Israel now fourth booster, extremely convenient, doesn't matter. 
I said there would be a fourth. And I'm right. And where's your red line if you've been vaccinated twice and you're here because you need to travel or for the ease of life, even though you didn't want it. And now you're doing your booster and all of a sudden here comes the fourth. At what point do you say enough? Once you've committed yourself, you're going to have to stay committed because otherwise why did you do it in the first place? You're not going to let three go to waste because they're going to delete your passport after six months. You'll do the fourth if you're still alive. So I said to him back in like end of March, middle of March 2020, when flights were coming in from Italy to England, 17 flights just from, I think, northern Italy, Milan, to England every single freaking day whilst the same Italians couldn't go from one province to another, they could come to England. And my friend said, well, they're all stupid, aren't they? What? They're not stupid. Yes, it seems crazy. Yes, it's stupid. Yes, you want to shout down the television, lock the airports down. But it wasn't done out of stupidity or naivety. They knew all too well what the consequences would be. And when they say two week lockdown that becomes half a year in some places, three quarters of a year to then be unlocked down for a month and now they're going into new lockdowns. Mass psychosis. So for anyone who, when I was studying history, um, all the dates and all the names and all the events didn't matter to me. Didn't matter. Okay? Uh, Archduke Franz Ferdinand, the, the Black Hand, and, and uh, Reichstag, and uh, uh, e everything else. Didn't, didn't matter. You know what mattered to me? But how? How did these things occur? What, how did the Germans, the enlightened, enlightenment, education, the arts, all the philosophy, everything from there, how did they become so psychotic? So depraved. It's not just there was Auschwitz in 1941 or there were trains. And how, how did that even, how could it even happen? Well, now you know. It's called mass psychosis. And in England, they had the people coming out at 8 o'clock at night. Clapping their hands in the air. Come on, going out their front door and clapping their hands in the air for, for NHS workers, National Health Service workers in the United Kingdom, whilst they were all in the, in the NHS, all the nurses and whatever, were wearing PPE equipment and doing TikTok videos. Over, it's estimated over 10,000 um, uh, primarily women primarily in the age group of 35 to 55. Um, so it's an increase of pre otherwise preventable cancer deaths, is what I'm trying to say. Because in 2020, didn't, people didn't go for screening. Yet Boris the Prick comes out, and look how he talks. I mean, who talks like that in real life? And he said the word, our scientists, probably about 10 times. that in order to uh, speed up the immunization, uh, it's not immunization because uh, vaccines don't give immunization, let's reverse on that. In order to speed up the uh, uh, vaccination process for those who uh, are over 18 and have not had their last shot in over three months, um, hospitals, are going to have to um, your your appointments if they are not critical they're going to have to wait uh, because the government has moved back the uh, timeline from the end of January to uh, 
the beginning of January because the Omicron prick. And do you know what he actually said? Do you know which hospital appointments he actually mentioned when he was talking about hospital appointments have to be cancelled? I'm sorry because vaccinations is more important. He actually said cancer appointments. Without any shame, without any thought to all those 10,000 that were needlessly sacrificed for euthanasia grandma. For those of you who don't know, most of these people are pushing and advocate for euthanasia. And they're all pro-abortion. All of a sudden, they, they're doing it for the kids. Think about the children. And, uh, and I don't know. I don't know. Thailand's under another lockdown. Obviously, this is where I am. This is where I'm concerned. I don't. I don't honestly care about Europe and the rest of it anymore. I don't. They're, they're too far gone. Uh, my optimistic friend thinks that we're winning. I don't see that we're winning. I said to him, "What's the point in winning if everyone's dead?" Right? What's the point to be right when you're dead? I, what's the point? Like someone said to me once, I nearly got into a car, into a uh, 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 road accident. I'm on a motorbike and the other fellow's in the car. And I was right. And the other fellow was wrong. And I was frustrated about it. And someone said to me, what do you want? You want to be to have on your uh, tombstone? Here lays Joe Bloggs. He was right. <laughs> yeah, and I got the point. Yeah, what's the point to be right if you're dead? So, <clears throat> just looking at, I took today already um, vitamin C and a fish oil and the zinc. Apparently, this is apparently, apparently, but go to the FDA and the CDC, okay, and get confirmation from them, but apparently zinc is, um, and vitamin D are both very good in um, keeping your immune boosted against the, the pandemic. It's a pandemic of insanity, that's what it is. I lost my trail of thought. I've been working hard today and I was thinking I'm gonna come home, have a whiskey and a cigar. I won't show you the brand. But instead I'm taking this and I don't know if it goes down too well with a whiskey. Maybe it does. I did a test the other day a video I need to edit the, the title because I did it wrong apparently I should wait like 15 minutes and then you put like the the swab in the solution put the lid on and leave it for like 15 minutes and then you drop three droplets onto the test pad so uh, thank you mum for pointing that one out to me I did it only for fun in fact where's the dog Oreo I want to test the dog. I need to somehow 15 seconds up the nose. I'll figure something out. I'll test the dog. I'll do a video. I'm going to test the dog. So that's it. It's just, I, I don't know. Maybe some of you are living in places or maybe in states in America where things are getting better, where you're hearing, hearing positive news. But the other day, I don't even know in what state it was, but uh, uh, I, I was just reading. Could be Ohio, Alabama. I don't know. I don't remember. Some ju judge called uh, Roger something um, sided with a hospital that two patients cannot. Um, be treated with ivermectin. What a hack. What a piece of rubbish. The 
They're all a piece of rubbish. I've been thinking about, I saw a commercial for Matrix 4. I have to tell you, I Matrix 1, 2, and 3, I, I know, I know what some of you will say, but as a combined trilogy, I enjoyed it, okay, a lot. And I saw the trailer for number four and it looked super disappointing. I don't know that I want to watch it. But I was thinking to myself, why? Why do they, why not just show how we got into the Matrix? Like my point about Nazi Germany, right? How did they get to where they got to? The Matrix 4 should be Matrix the beginning, okay? And it will show this today. This is how it started with a pandemic and tyranny and thought control. Orwellian uh, 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 fact checkers that now in court they, they, they claim that, well, we're not actually stating as a fact. It's an opinion. It's our opinion coming across as a fact check. Facebook, they were just done by, what's his name? He does some, um, oh... He does, he does a lot of documentaries sometimes on Fox and stuff. Uh, John Stossel or something like that. And um, um, so that's how it starts. And then obviously you've got the Metaverse. Mark Zuckerberg. Um, and people wanting to escape and go into the alternate reality. But there's global frigging warming. Because apples are coming to England from Chile and lamb is coming to England from New Zealand, right? So they invent this uh, way of using your energy to power your, your own computer. So whilst you're plugged into the metaverse matrix, you are, um, it's, it's running off of your own energy. And... Uh, and the artificial intelligence realizes that there's a threat that if people start to wake up to the fact that they are nothing more than sheeple, then uh, you know they'll dump it, and the and and then it won't have the energy required to uh, to remain in its resin d'etre, and the AI realized it's got to do something. And it figured out how to harvest with the help of psychopath Zuckerbergs and uh, um, um, the dogs. Don't know if you can. Oreo! Because I shouted her, she was outside. I'm going to go bring her in. One, one second. She's in. So, yeah, Zuckerberg and uh, Eugenics Bill. Look it up. Look it up. Okay, his father, he wasn't just some poor guy working from the back of a house garage. Okay, it's all a setup. Look who his father was and what he did. Eugenics, okay. Who his grandfather was for the Fed Reserve, I think in San Francisco, opened the first branch over there. Just look it up. Look who his mother and grandmother. All part of the cabal, the Bill and Melinda Toya Foundation, an NGO funneling money. So the Matrix, that's how it started. And then there were some heroes that, you know, were trying to wake the sheeple up. And the AI uh, um, initiated a war, uh, which the AI obviously saw as self-preservation of itself. Uh, in cahoots at the time with uh, the eugenic uh, um, sorrows of, of humanity. And... Um, uh, Obviously, the AI was using those idiots for its own use. Those idiots were just trying to have more and more and more control. It's not even the wealth. You have to understand the cabal, the Rothschilds and all of this. They're not in it just for the wealth. It's not a case of that. It's, it's the power. 
Because when you've got a billion or a trillion of, or however much under your control, it's not about the money anymore. So that would have been a good Matrix movie, which I'd have gladly gone and spent my money in the cinema to watch and risked getting the sea unmentionable. But as it is, this, this Matrix fall, nah. Uh, <laughs> it'll hurt if it's, a, if it's bad, if it's rubbish, like all the Marvel crap. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not into the Marvel stuff. My kids are not either. All this super power and, and all these incredible fighting scenes and whatever. Even Transformers number one was good. And then it was just like, poof, off a cliff after that. Uh, in, my, in my opinion, I'm, I, if, if I'm wrong in your opinion, that's fine. We don't need to argue and fight about that. Um, just, just letting you know that The Good, The Bad and The Ugly is probably one of the best movies ever made. Uh, uh, right, it's an hour since I ate, so I'm going to take my, my stuff. Hey man, I'm seeing that and uh, and um, six milligram tablets. Okay, six milligram. I need to take eighteen in total because my body weight. So it's zero point two milligram. Now that's the label usage. The label dose of this stuff. But if you search frontline, frontline COVID, F L C C C. Okay, I can't, I can't say I, I don't want my video banning. Um, uh, they'll recommend that you could do double that. And um, for, for prevention, I'm talking about uh, every three or four days um, and for recovery every day for f up to five, six days, even longer. I read some of the comments in some of my other videos. Some people have had amazing experiences. One person, oh my goodness, took the real <laughs> version, okay, and uh, didn't pay attention and took like 10 times the dose. And was okay. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I might have been to the hospital and had my stomach pumped. But it's because I, I generally don't really trust pharmaceuticals. So, vitamin C. I've got my fresh vitamin C here. By the way, eat the seeds. For those of you who don't know, B18, so it's cyanide, and it's natural, and it's extremely healthy. And in the Bible, in Genesis, God even says, I give you the fruit-bearing seeds, okay, to you shall be for meat, the seeds. Watermelon. So we buy watermelon with the seeds. We buy grapes with the seeds. We buy the oranges and the apples, and, and we eat the seeds. Now, to, to, for it to be dangerous, I mean, can you eat 374 apples? I don't think so. Okay? So, don't worry about the nonsense, the hacks that say it's potentially lethal. No one's ever died from the stuff. And anyway, they, they, they uh, looked into the nutritional content of seedless fruit and up to 40 to 50 on average percent less nutrient and vitamins and things like that. I think watermelons are like less 30, 40 percent. And that, that says a lot. Yet, we're told to, two years, spit out the seeds. I don't crush, I don't chew on the orange seeds because they're very bitter. Um, but the watermelon, definitely. It's nice. It's nice to have that texture of the watermelon and then the seed and crunch on the seed. Look into it. Eat the seeds. Just, just think what an, an unbelievable... Thing is produced for life form is produced 
that then gives its own seeds and its own seeds and its own seeds over and over and over. It's a miracle. Why would you spit it out? Why would you buy one? I just took one of those. Why would you buy a seedless watermelon? Think about it for five minutes. Bio zinc. What's so bio about it? I've no idea. And fish oil. Only three left. That's it, everyone. Video's been too long. Next week, we're off on our holidays. This channel, Thailand 101, was not meant to be political or current events. It was just meant to be information about Thailand and how great it is over here. Because um, we used to holiday all the time, all the time, a lot. And um, uh, that's that was the intention behind this this channel. And I hope to one day return to that. But it's become actually just a means for me to vent some of my um, thoughts and emotions before they build up and drive me totally insane. Very few people I can talk to. I've even got people that they're anti the, the jab, but they themselves have been jabbed um, for various different reasons. Yeah, but... It's difficult to say. Um, I'm not in a situation where I need to give up something in order to avoid that. So it's kind of easy for me to talk, so I won't say much. Hopefully I'll never be put in that situation where I have to give up something that's significant, like the ability to make a, a living. Wear your masks. Show me your magic trick. Okay. So, I have a coin here and I'm going to make it disappear. Okay. So, I'm going to put it in the palm. Okay. And this is a magic pen. Okay. And the coin is going to disappear. Okay. So, one, two, three. Take something away. Go on then. Oh, I'll Where's the coin? Huh? Where's the coin? Coin's still there with a pen. <laughs> it's on right here. <laughs> <laughs> I've got I've got one. Okay, you're gonna have to record me. Are you recording? Yes. Okay. This is a little trick a friend of mine, Paul Daniels, taught me. Okay? okay. I take a coin, it's a magic coin, put it in my hands, and then I have to like, you know, shake my hands. You can see my hands are shaking? Yep. You you got them in the video. Yep. And the problem is that this hand doesn't work very well. Look coin still there. When I put it in this hand, okay, it will work. Now, just to be sure, it's not there. Just to be sure, it is there. Correct? Yep. Happy? Yes. Let's do it. Ready? Yes. One, two, three. <laughs> Why is there no carpet in this house? Carpet.